Hello everyone and welcome to the back room. The last time you saw this G3, I had removed all the electrolytic capacitors from the PAV board and uh, I had in fact decided to replace all of them. Many were marginal, one or two were okay I think, but it seemed to make sense to replace all of them. However, I only had about half of them in stock and so I ended the video while I waited for the rest. I have those now. But as well as the PAV board here, if you remember back to the first video, there are four boards inside the G3. There's the logic board, there is the down converter board, which is this. It is attached to the logic board via a pin here and this connector. And when you remove both together from the computer, you separate them at that point. As you can see, there are a number of electrolytics on this board, so I'll be testing these in a moment. And there is also this neck board here. And the neck board also has some electrolytic capacitors. You might just be able to see those. I can see a couple here. There's three. I think there might be about five or six in here, as well as some tantalums and other things. So really, I need to get this... Uh, metal shroud off the neck board, detach the various cables and actually have a look at these electrolytic capacitors. If I'm going to replace the capacitors here, then I might as well do it everywhere else that it needs to be done to before I undertake the task of putting this machine back together. So follow along with me while I take this thing apart. Now to begin with, there are four metal tags and by the way, you can hear my voice is still hasn't returned. This is five weeks now, like this. Hopefully, as I go through the firming of this second instalment of the, uh, the G3, my voice will recover. If not, I'm afraid you've just got to put up with it, which is a bit annoying because listening to this is not the most fun. But never mind. So you simply lift up these metal tabs and then with some careful pulling, I should, there we are, be able to get this shroud off. Now, all that reveals is another metal shroud here, but we are a little bit closer. I think at this stage we'll try and get as many of these cables disconnected as possible. That might give us slightly better access. have to take this one off again if I find that it's holding something else in place but for now I'm going to put it back in here and that will be the surest way not to lose it or to get it mixed up with the very many other screws that have come out of this okay what it looks like Does that have a catch or does it simply pull out? I think it pulls out.
and at last it comes free that's going to make the job so much easier so now we can see there are in fact one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen of these electrolytic capacitors on a first inspection none of them look like they're bulging particularly none of them look like they're leaking especially but I can almost guarantee that all of them will be at the very least marginal and some of them will be way out of spec at this age and really the only thing to do is to remove them and replace them So the next step is to solder in no fewer than 33 capacitors on this board and 15 capacitors, 15 electrolytic capacitors on this neck board. I have the first one in place here. It is a 220 microfarad, 63 volts. And we're back and the neck board is recapped. So I need to put the neck board back together, which is this collection of odd shaped bits and pieces. So I need to put that back together. I need to connect up some cables with the neck board and then I need to put the machine back together. And at that point, it will be time to switch on. So let's get started with that.
And here's the computer rebuilt and ready to be tested. Now, I didn't show it being rebuilt because it really is the uh, opposite of taking it apart. If you want to see how that is done, have a look at the previous video. You'll find the link below and uh, that will show you me taking this machine apart. And uh, as I say, rebuilding it is is the exact opposite of that. Of course, what I did show was the neck board or what uh, Apple calls the video board being rebuilt. Uh, that one is a little bit tricky. So that is worth seeing. But now I have this machine plugged in. I haven't actually switched it on at the outlet yet. I thought I would save the whole thing for the uh, video. Now it's, it's either going to work or it isn't. If it doesn't work, then yes, okay, it's the flyback and we simply have no power and I'll have to find another flyback or a scrap machine that I can take the PAV board from and um, rebuild it that way. Uh, or this machine becomes a parts machine for some other G3 in need of uh, something else. If it does work, then 49 capacitors later, it will have been worth the wait. So let's give it a try. I'll switch it on at the outlet. Absolutely nothing at the moment. We'll try the switch. Absolutely nothing, completely dead. Well, I can't pretend it isn't a disappointment, but the G3 is a relatively complicated beast and recapping it is just one way to find that you haven't yet located whatever is keeping the machine from booting. I started eyes wide open knowing that the problem could well lie with the flyback, a known problem area on these machines, but after swapping no fewer than 50 capacitors, 33 on the PAV board, 16 on the neck board and one on the down converter board, I couldn't help but be hopeful that the machine would boot. It was not to be. Don't let that put you off with your G3. As you've seen over the past two episodes, while it is complex, stripping and rebuilding the computer requires no special tools or skills, just patience and a methodical approach. And there is plenty of anecdotal evidence on the various forums that a recap can bring life back to the computer. I certainly haven't abandoned this one and I'll be stripping it and testing it again and I've also acquired some plans for an open source ring tester to test the flyback. But for now, the G3 will go on the back burner while I refresh myself and the channel with something different. So thank you for staying with me during the past two episodes. Good luck with your own G3 if that was what brought you here and I'll see you all again very soon in the back room.